America's spookiest home. Tora home so beloved that its deceased owners have never left. The ghost stories go back over 100 years. And we visit an infamous and mysterious mansion with doors to nowhere and 600 haunted rooms. See a funhouse whose frights are no laughing matter. Plus, dare to venture into a beautiful plantation with an ugly past. Guests take pictures of this mirror and spirits will show up. Then, take a rare tour of the spooky Lizzie Borden house. Find out if she was really the one with an ax to grind. And find out why this man willingly bought one of the most haunted homes in the world. We believe between six to eight people have died in this house. All this and more right now on America's Spookiest Homes. Next, visit an Indiana home haunted by spirits of the unfriendly variety. Whispers State has frequently been called one of the most haunted places in America. And an incredible home that's filled with elegance and freaky phantoms. We've all heard stories about friendly ghosts. Well, the spirits in this next former doctor's house are anything but. In fact, they've been known to bite, scratch, and shove those who enter. Don't get any ideas. I don't have insurance. On the surface, Mitchell, Indiana appears to be an ordinary town. But if you look closer, you'll see that the dead share space with the living and not just in the town cemetery. Just a few blocks away is a house that some locals believe is cursed. Whispers Estate has frequently been called one of the most haunted places in America. While most people would avoid buying a house reputed to be haunted, Van Rainier bought it for exactly that reason. I work with computers, and with computers, it's zeros and ones. There is no what ifs. A haunted house is amazingly unpredictable. Today, Van and his team of host investigators use the home to research the various forms of paranormal activity encountered within its walls. We have all sorts of kind of things happen here. We see full body apparitions, non-human apparitions. Doors open and slam. We've had balls roll across floors for no discernible reason. So why is Whisper's estate named so? It's not because of Van losing his voice on the day cameras roll, but because of the disembodied voices heard on the premises. Its past may have a great deal to do with that. We believe between six to eight people have died in this house. Originally built in 1894, the house was bought by Dr. John Gibbons in 1899, and he used the home as his doctor's office for 27 years. In those days, amputated body parts had to be buried somewhere, and Dr. John allegedly did so in the backyard, which is also believed to hold four graves. But that's not the only reminder of the home's dark and violent past. There were two family members that got into an altercation, and one of them threw the axe in the other one's back. On the first floor are rooms believed to be ones where Dr. John performed operations. Guests have frequently heard growls right next to their ear. In the bathroom behind me, women have actually been heard crying and screaming for help. An adjoining room is also where people have claimed to encounter an even more sinister specter, one that's known as a shadow person. Some people said that it's an entity not of this world. We just don't know. Upstairs are rooms named after two children who once lived in the home. Their ages at their death might explain why toys such as balls and jacks seemingly move by phantom means. One of these rooms once belonged to Rachel, who was believed to have been Dr. John's adopted daughter. Rachel met a tragic end in 1912 after being burned in a fire. Rachel's spirit is said to roam the hallways of the home and cause some of the toys in her room to act unnaturally. I had a guest that brought Rachel a brand new doll, and she just happened to say, hey, Rachel, what do you look like? All of a sudden, there was a commotion at the bottom of the front staircase, and the doll that the guest brought was actually laying at the bottom of the steps. She was burnt. 
After gaining such an infamous reputation, Whisper's estate has become a destination for everyone from ghost hunters to the curious. However, due to the at times violent paranormal activity, visitors must first sign a waiver before departing on a flashlight-led tour. As for those who scoff at the ideas of ghosts and haunted houses, Van and his staff have their own opinions. There have been a number of times where the activity in the house has gotten the best of me and not been able to stay the night. Well, our tour of America's spookiest houses has come to an end. I hope you've enjoyed this look at our kooky, creepy, and downright demented domiciles. The next time you hear a strange sound in the middle of the night, it's probably just the wind, right?